Hey guys, Robert Strongthumb here. Today I wanted to share with you my hopes and dreams of my dream deck in the Elder Scrolls Legends and what it would look like. Right now, you're watching me delve into Shiver Mist Cave in Skyrim, but that will be appropriate because I pull most of the characteristics of my dream deck from Skyrim and Magic the Gathering in real life. And I plan to show you both as best as I can. So without further ado, here it goes. So this Skyrim character you're watching is a vampiric dark elf. He uses conjuration to summon the rays of the dead, illusion to do a whole bunch of things, alteration to produce armor, one-handed is the primary offensive, alchemy, and that's about it. So specifically, the character, the card game equivalent, you can summon creatures, preferably from the dead, <laughs> create tempo, combo cards, and kill most enemy creatures with ease. And this is pretty similar to my favorite magic decks. I most enjoy the Sultai clan decks in magic from the um, from the Cons of Tarkir block, that, that archetype I much enjoyed. The decks that were black, blue, and green bugs. Because they could also summon the dead, use Jedi mind tricks, and use stealth and destroy things. The Sultai is associated with the ruthlessness of the dragon, right? And that would mean that the Sultai use their the, any powers they can to destroy their opponent at any cost, right? So they are viciously hungry for power, much like the vampire character in Skyrim, where you become weak or disadvantaged in one area while becoming exceedingly powerful in another. Vampires are weak in fire and sunlight, but you get a, other benefits that make up for it, which is like a cool dark bargain thing that I really like when I see in games. Okay, so if we just make a list... Of my dream deck's traits, I would want it to have dark bargains for power, tempo swings, combos, summoning, and destruction. Destruction of creatures and whatnot. Removal spells and whatnot. In the Elder Scrolls Legends, I see the most co close correlation with these traits in the Assassin decks, the Intelligence and Adil Agility decks, for obvious reasons. They're also the Dark Elf decks. <laughs> Assassin decks do have some bark darken, dark bargain style cards. For example, there's the Stugium Headmaster, there's the Mournhold Trader, and yes, the Spider Daedra. Stugium Headmaster gives you and your opponent a draw, so in your greed for cards you're giving your opponent the same benefit, which makes it mostly unplayable, but it is a dark bargain card. And, I mean, it's unplayable. But I hope that the developers either look close at the card to make it more viable or make other similar cards in the future because I do like the idea of the card. Who knows? Maybe in the future a combo will be either made or found with this card as a main piece. And that that would be pretty cool. Mournhold Trainer is excellent. If you have the best true sorry. You have the best two drop card in the game. It's basically immune to lesser removal. And it, I mean, it gives your opponent a guard when it dies, but it's just great. It's questionably a bit too powerful, but I would still love to see the developers create a few more cards like this one, where you play a creature with a disadvantage last gasp, or similar. Now, Spider Daedra, Spider Daedra is like a joke, but I understand the idea. You play, you play a boss eight magic card to really swing tempo, but there's a condition. It has a weakness. If the Daedra dies, they all die. Yeah, it's cool, because it's, it's a boss with a weakness, a dark bargain. And I think some card just needs to come along to make combos with this card possible. Either that, or if the devs rework or buff the card, it might see play. Uh, Legends currently lacks many of the cards that cause you to pay life, or discard cards, or, I don't know, perhaps even destroy your own prophecies other dark bargain effects. So I hope that they add features like this in the future so there might be more of these dark bargains to be made. Because, again, I, I'm really attracted to that whole system of reckless power and whatnot. Uh, next, Tempo Swings. Assassins have definitely got good cards there. Shrieking Harpy, Slaughterfish spawning, it's neutral. Daggerfall Mage, Ice Storm. We could go on forever, right? Assassin's decks have it made with the agility and intelligence tempo swing cards. 
combos, yes. Lowendra Hexmage, Crystal Tower Crafter, Daring Cuppers, Wismother, Goblin Skull, other cards. Assassin has amazing cards for combos. And I think that the devs did an amazing job making the Assassin feel like a combi combo. A combo heavy deck style. Kind of like how they would roleplay in other universes and whatnot. Summoning. Okay, well, the last gasp cards do summon creatures, and many of the cards in these colors also spawn multiple cards. Like Wismother spawns multiple cards. I'm not finding necromancy to be a very usable term in the Elder Scrolls Legends at all. Endurance has some good backbone necromancy cards, like the Black Worm Necromancer, Blood Magic Lord's Raised Dead spell, which is a chance, and Flesh Atronach. Now... They all have amazing effects regarding the graveyard, but there's definitely a necromancy archetype missing from the game. Flesh Atronach also sees little play because it simply doesn't have the necessarily like deck tools to fill graveyards. I hope the devs are working to not only add a few more necromancy cards, but also cards that aid the necromancy by by dumping bodies and whatnot. Again, Legends does not have cards that say mill decks or discard cards, making necromancy basically non-existent. Until we make some new cards, or see some new cards, summoning is basically all in the atromancy, but it's still summoning. Although before we leave necromancy, I'd like to point out that the card Feasting Vulture, I, I believe it has power, and it just needs a meta-shaking card to make itself really shine, but right now, it's just like a half and half good card. Alright, destruction. Yes. In my favorite way too. In Skyrim, by far my favorite mechanic is alchemy. And I can see reminiscences of that in Legends. Cards like Daggerfall Mage and Skooma Racketeer allow you to make a creature trade better. Most of the time against your opponent's wishes. Because you play it on your turn instead of their turn. Well, let's hope, yes? Assassin decks also have a plethora of removal cards like lethal creatures and actions. Lightning Bolt. So they really can remove pretty much any creatures they want, save the warded creatures. But that that's where the wards are for. The wards are the anti-assassin things. And I think they did a really good job of making that so. You know, every uh, archetype should have a weakness. Assassins are weak to sorcerers, I guess. My current favorite deck in Legends, the Ultra Assassin, which I have a video of down in the description, by the way, it has tempo swings, it has combos, it has summoning, and it has destruction. It just doesn't have the dark bargains, but that being said, it, it only doesn't have the dark bargains, so I almost got everything I wanted for the, for the deck, right? The deck is like a combo-oriented combo control deck, the way it plays out. And I'm anxious to see if in the future a combo-aggro-oriented deck will spring up in the Assassin area. Perhaps using dark bargain cards like the ones I mentioned earlier, like the Spider Daedra and whatnot. Not really, it's not going to see the Spider Vader. But I must tell you, I'm loving the game. It does satisfy you, me. So, thank you devs for all the hard work. But before I go, I'd like to invite you, if you have ideas for decks that use these traits, that would be, oh boy, what are they? Dark, ar dark Bargains for Power, Tempo Springs, Swings even, Combos, Summoning, and Destruction. If you have ideas for decks that use these these traits, please do share them with me. I'd love to use them. You can either post a comment down below or email me the deck. But again, I'd love to see it. That'll be all for today, guys. So please, like all the videos you watch on YouTube. Subscribe for more Elder Scrolls Legends content. Leave some comments down below for conversation, because that's cool. And share this video with your friends if you think they would like it as well. See ya.